17 year old gunned down at his home in Evanston and Cincinnati police say the investigation into the death of Gregory Thompson Jr. is still ongoing. Meanwhile, the Purcell Marion High School community is grieving tonight. Good evening. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Craig Mickey and I'm Tanya O'Rourke. New at 11, the principal of that school is sharing his memories of the victim and a message for other students. Dine on your sides. Jake Rowell joins us live. He's in East Walnut Hills with more Jake. Well, grief counselors are expected to be here tomorrow for the first day of school since that student's death. Now, today, Thompson's principal is telling us and telling everyone that he's hoping to shed a little bit of light on who he was as a student, but also as a person. The video posted to YouTube Sunday evening. The student's name uh, is Greg Thompson. Purcell Marion High School principal Andy Farsing. He was lost to senseless gun violence in the front yard of his grandmother's home. Thompson shot and killed Friday evening. Days after his death, his principal choosing to remember him not as his last moments, but for the good times they shared together. Greg would come in to see me in my office, oh, probably once a day, every day. Thompson had only spent a year at Purcell Marion, but in that short time. Greg had a very positive impact on everyone at Purcell Marion. Farsing described Thompson as a guy willing to do whatever it takes to make those around him better. I even saw him one day on a free bell sweeping up the salt that was tracked in from uh, from the icy sidewalks. I said, Greg, what are you doing? He said, I'm sweeping up the salt. I said, why are you doing that? He said, well, somebody needs to do it and I had a fair minute. Reality sets in Monday, the first day back for students without one of their own at Purcell Marion. Their principal says the school is a family and that family has lost a brother. I'll miss Greg tremendously. But they're rallying behind one word to remember Greg Thompson for who he was. Together we'll pray, together we'll share those memories, all those great times that we had with Greg. And that one word placed up there on the side of Purcell Marion High School together. And that's going to be greeting every single student that comes to school tomorrow morning here at Purcell Marion. No funeral arrangements have been made yet at this time, and we're hoping to hear a little bit more. As soon as we do, we'll be sure to keep you updated on WCPO.com. For now, reporting live in East Walnut Hills, Jake Ryle, 9 on your side.